Hello, Thomas! Our favorite interruption! Thank you, Jesus! We can now officially begin the 2024 season of uploads. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy January 1st! Happy start to the rest of the year! Of course, this is me back in time after getting ready for New Year's Eve, but I do need to do this little... Ah! Love it! Oh. If you don't know what I mean, then go watch the previous video of my farewell to 2023. We are still... Well, I mean, we're almost fully ready, actually, to go out to a party, the best party ever, which hopefully is still the best party ever. And I will let you know at some point if it is the best party ever. I mean, nothing can beat my big party I threw this year, but hey. Ooh, this is cute. Pretty! I love it! <sighs> what is it again? Exotic orchid? I feel very exotic. I'm the whitest person on earth, let's be frank. <sighs> but either way, welcome back. It's Francis Mack. I don't know if I said that actually yet, but hello! Let's talk about the new year. I'm here in the past, talking to the present, to the future future to the present the present which you are watching now which is the present but in, in the future too for any of you who are not watching yet that will one day hello i hope you're having a wonderful first day of the new year it is my uh father-in-law's birthday so i am celebrating my father-in-law and then the next day i celebrate my brother's birthday a lot of january birthdays on the dock but that's not what i wanted to talk to you about Let's discuss our goals, plans, dreams, anything. Let's manifest. This video is to manifest because to be perfectly frank, I don't necessarily have resolutions. I more so have manifestations. And I think that is a better way to put that through forward. I was just gonna say through and then I circled back and said forward. So through forward because I am somebody I created a whole top five goals last year. That was a whole video I made. Did not accomplish really any of those goals. Uh, I think I got one out of all of them. And even so, the new year, even though it's the new year, it's the new time to shine, does not necessarily mean that you have to just like restart your whole life in an instant. You can restart your whole life at any point during the year. That's the caveat. But what do I want for 2024? If we're talking manifesting, I want to continue to progress my health journey, which I completely and totally let slip um, on some things because uh, we are still battling depression. Um, yeah, and we will get through it. Uh, I'm learning tricks. I bought a book. Actually, let me just grab this book. Hold on. I did not buy this book. This book was bought for me as a Christmas gift, and I am so excited. I actually got two books. Hold on. Okay, yeah. That's great. Shot in my back, sad. I apologize to anybody who did see that if I did not cut that out but who knows how I will do that so the first book I was really talking about what I'm really yeah, I got books so I got the anatomy of stretching because I was really interested to see kind of you know more so the atomical side so I can really visualize what I'm doing and then understanding it further which is great I also have my bestie that is a physiotherapist even though that she's like specialty she is a pediatric physiotherapist so she does not treat adults but she's also helped me and given me a couple of stretches which i need to 
circle back with her to have her give me the printouts for them. Because I remember some of them and I've been doing some of them, but I don't remember all of them. And one of them requires a ball, so I'm like, oh, I gotta go get that ball. But the second one, which I've not opened yet, and maybe, maybe we'll do that. Ooh, ah. Sexy little ASMR. Not sexy at all. Let's be frank. The mountain is you, transforming self-sabotage into self-mastery. I did put this on my Christmas list. So no one come for anybody's like, somebody gave you a self-help book and you didn't ask for a self-help book. I'm using my raw towel comb just to fucking open this damn thing. Raw towel combs, multi-purposeful. Get yourself one if you have hair and like to do things. Not really to tear too. Ah. New book smell. Love it. I oh, just like I love how it's also upside down, but like ooh ah. Uh. <laughs> That's how you know you when you're feeling yourself and you're feeling really good. Like I feel incredible today. Like like with my hair done and my makeup done, my outfit, I feel amazing. So the best way to start off this video feeling great. Um, yeah, I am excited to finally uh, dig into this book. As it says up here, it's the ultimate seeker's guide for those brave enough to face their true north and take their power back. And that is something that I need to do. So not only, as you said previously in the last year, but this year too, and I need to make a plan for myself and I'm going to make a plan. I'm going to make a plan. I'm going to make a plan a record. Because I said last year that I put some goals in particular and I followed through on some of those goals. Yeah, in terms of like getting my x-rays for my feet done and doing that, I did not do that. So I need to go get that done in order then to see a, a surgeon to fix my feet. Um, yeah, that's the main thing. And then again, continuing my health journey in terms of stretching, cause I need to do it. I can't sleep um, cause of pain. So that's something that I really need to focus on. Uh, again, I wanna get stronger. I wanna, you know that trend on Instagram or TikTok or whatever originated, probably TikTok, let's be fair. Uh, TikTok is in the weather load. I still can't get into TikTok. I'm old. Yeah, I should figure it out. But at the same time, mm, do I need to? I don't know. I'm fine. That's another thing about being 30. You're just fine with this stuff. And then there, you're really not fine with other things, such as me needing to get my health in order. Because health is wealth. But what I was meaning with the TikTok short reel bit was, uh, I think, think there's a trend. There's an audio where it's like, this year, uh, we're like, we're getting healthier, we're getting sexier, we're getting wealthier, we're getting all of the things, like better money, better bitches, better everything. Yes, that is the energy that we are bringing in to 2024. Yes. So I want to really boost my confidence. I, since with my mental health has taken such a downturn spiral, such a downward trajectory and crap. I'm like, I am trying to, again, jazz myself up. So again, just doing things to make myself feel better, to bring my confidence up, like doing my hair regularly, doing my makeup, like actually liking how I look. And then again, putting that, moving that forward. Can you tell? I don't know what I'm going to say when I turn my camera on because this is going to be a long ass video once again. But that is the main bit. Just wanting to feel better about myself because my confidence in myself took a hit uh, over the past few weeks. Um, Yeah, so we are battling our depression. You can get the fuck over it or we're going to get through it and keep calm and carry on except we never keep calm but we will carry on uh prioritizing our health getting getting healthier getting stronger feeling great in our body gonna continue to do dance gonna go to the gym gonna again yeah, just be active that's a huge thing i need to be is to be active for not just for my physical but for my mental health as well so we're prioritizing that this year too 
In terms of, what do we have, career goals? I want to continue to move forward and the goal is to become a manager at my company, but I don't know if that'll happen this year, but at least, you know, this year we're moving towards that goal. We are moving towards the goal. We want to be a manager. We are moving to that goal. We're going to do it. Yeah, and then just forever and always wanting to create, wanting to be creative. Ooh, another thing we want to do this year, get a house. I want to buy a house with Ryan. And because I can't do it on my own and neither can he. So we want to buy a house. So those are really our main goals, you know, just manifesting wealth, health, happiness, everything in between. I have also a couple of ideas which I'm really going to be using my channel moving forward to help me, you know, move those goals forward and really create videos that are just top of mind. I used to really, and sometimes I'm still going to, don't get me wrong, plan out videos in advance because I need something so I can't make that video right away, which is fine. It's fine. It means that it's not meant for today. It's not meant for right here, right now. But I do want to use this channel to help me reinvigorate myself, help me gain my self-confidence back, keep me accountable for certain things like with uploading, which still not a consistent day, but hey, we are doing the damn thing. Actually, shit. I did something bad. Hold on. I fixed it. I accidentally closed my laptop, so I disrupted my upload, which is not good because you need your laptop to stay open, and that was a dumbass, and I decided to make this video while I was uploading the previous video, which no one's going to see until tomorrow when they're hungover, so hey. Yeah. <laughs> so that's basically wanting to use this as this platform, this channel, what I create, to keep being creative and using this as a tool to better myself, not just with my health journey, with a strength journey, with a medical journey, with not with work, but we may not, I'm not talking, I might use something where I could discuss, not necessarily about my job. I don't want to talk about my job. My job's private. Uh, this is me, my personal life, which I'd like to share, but I, in my professional life, I don't want to, want to share anything in particular, but I'm going to be studying some things to help myself move forward with the work stuff, which will be great and fun, and I'll talk about that, uh, but I won't be talking about what I do for my job on here, which I don't like to do anyway, and I haven't done, so I? I talk around work. <laughs> um, either way, uh, it's... I'm feeling optimistic now, and the reason why I'm feeling optimistic is that I feel good. I, yeah, no, I don't mind if I'm like a narcissist and say like, I feel like I feel sexy. I look great. Oh my word. Uh, I will post maybe a couple of photos of uh, my outfit, because I definitely want to stand up and show you in here. Well, maybe I will at the end, but I'm feeling good. Uh, yeah, so really it's just confidence, happiness, growing. And, well, bleh. getting a house, what else? Working for that, working towards a promotion. Um, what else is within my control? Again, just still keep strengthening those friendships that I love and the relationships with people I love. And I think as well, Hello, Thomas! Our favorite interruption! Thank you, Jesus! We can now officially begin the 2024 season of uploads with that cameo because we all know our favorite interrupter is Thomas. Even though maybe we'll have to have like a farewell to Thomas when we get a house, which hopefully is nowhere near a Thomas. The tank engine. <laughs> um, the tank engine? Steam engine. Either way, not important. Um, sorry, Thomas. Yeah. Uh, other things I want to do. I, again, and they just feel very much like this sort of feels relatively solution-y, but I do want to 
again, I want to get up earlier and again, want to enjoy my space in my home. Forever a process, forever progress there, but the reason I want to get up early is that so I have time to dedicate to myself. Because, you know, work is work, but at least I'm going to dedicate time to me for my importance, for my sanity, for my everything. I need to wake up earlier in order to take care of myself. And then I also am going to give myself like a little challenge uh, when it comes to uh, getting toasty and uh, drinking. Um, I let my freak flag toastify, um, toastify <laughs> uh, during the holiday season. So for me, I'm not really much of a, I'm not really a big drinker, um, but I do enjoy getting toasty. So I've started to feel like maybe my toasty self, even though I love being toasty, might be hindering my ultimate growth in ways that I want to grow. So I'm going to be doing a challenge for myself. I think it was like, I keep seeing from Lord DIY, I saw her do the or post her 75 soft challenge. And I don't know anything about 75 soft, 75 hard, 75 anything. But for me, it's just going to keep on, again, getting steps in, you know, going to dance, going and getting healthier. You know, just moving my body is the main thing, and especially with stretching in order to pry my body to be able to, you know, sleep without pain or be able to fall asleep easily without pain because that's uh not possible at the moment which is a big hindrance and then seeing how my mindset changes with uh reducing the toastiness so i'm gonna put a pause on my toasty self uh except for certain times and periods where like i need it to need to get toasty to help me sleep like if I need to wake up early, which shouldn't really be the case because I'm going to try to wake up early anyway so I can focus in on doing the things that matter to me and focus in on prioritizing what I need. And yeah, that's really about it. I'm excited for the new year. I'm excited to keep you guys updated on my life as well as my progress with the things I want to progress with my self um, mastery mindset, not self sabotage. We're not going to sabotage yourself. We're going to stop that and hopefully continue to smash and have the most incredible 2024. If you made it to the end of this video, I would love it if you could comment down below what is your number one manifestation for 2024 or if you have any tips or tricks to help me with my goals i'd be super 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 or i should say manifestations not goals i'd be elated to read those in the comments too and if you were down there anyway wanting to give a little comment make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that notification bell because we want to see you and i want to see you and i want to see growth here as well and as always thanks for playing